Hello and thanks for joining us tonight. I'm Frank Malloy. A 12 year old boy is dead after a boating accident on the Oconee River in Trutland County. Today we received more information about what happened over the weekend. Camille Williams talked with an investigator from the State Department of Natural Resources about the accident. A Dublin family was enjoying a weekend on the boat out on the Oconee River. Now the family is mourning the loss of a son. Oh, I would say, you know, it was a unfortunate accident. That's Corporal Rodney Horn with the state's Department of Natural Resources. He says around 11:30 a.m. on Saturday, 12 year old Colton Foskey was on a boat with his father and two other boys. It was a sandbar that the boat struck while it was traveling upriver and it come to rest on that sandbar there. Horn says all three boys were thrown from the boat. And right now we don't have an exact cause of a death. It's pending uh, part of the investigation and, and waiting for the medical examiner to get back with us on it. Uh, but the initial report uh, was but for trauma. Horn says many boats travel up and down the river. Fatal accidents like this are unusual. He says they don't know how fast the boat was going. We were told he was traveling, but he wasn't traveling real fast. Horn has some recommendations while out on the river. During low water uh, levels on the river, people drive at a moderate speed. Uh, they wear their safety jet vest or what we call personal flotation devices. They are inspecting the boat as part of the investigation and no charges have been filed. In Trutland County, Camila Williams, 13 WMEZ News. Colton Foskey was a student at East Lawrence Elementary School. The elementary school posted on its Facebook page saying Foskey's passing, quote, leaves a void in the hearts of so many. And many of you are sharing your condolences as well. Melba says prayers for this family. My heart is broken for them. Chrissy says, sending love and prayers to this family. This is an awful tragedy. And Kayla says, sending prayers for the family and friends during this difficult time.